Milk. Crate. Marauder. All right, folks, most of you know my next guest from his celebrity interviews on Howard Stern's nationally syndicated radio show. Please join me in welcoming back our friend, Stuttering John. Well, uh, I grew up in uh, North Mass Peak, Long Island. Uh, I was born in Mineola. There's that New York accent. See the ER at the end. <laughs> I was born in Mineola, Long Island. I uh, grew up in North Mass People, went to Plain Edge High School, which uh, is also the high school that Steve Gutenberg went to. And uh, I was there. I actually went to high school with his sister, who was our homecoming queen. Very beautiful. And no, I didn't score. I never scored with anybody. I think it was the stuttering thing. But anyway, then uh, from there, I went to Nassau Community College, uh, 13th grade, as they said. And then uh, from there, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do because, I mean, I knew I wanted to be in television and everything, but in film, but, uh, you know, I stuttered, and I didn't know if I could ever act or anything, because I had such a bad stutter. So then I took this film and lit class at uh, Nassau, and I really got into filmmaking, I said, all right, well, if I can't perform as an actor, at least I could direct, so uh, I went and transferred to NYU, which was my father's uh, alma mater, if you will, and then uh, I went there for a couple of years, usually, it should have only taken two, but of course with me, because I like to party, it took me three, and I graduated in 1989, and my last year there, I met uh, Mitch Fatel, who was a friend of mine, and he was in my video class, and he told me that he was um, interning for Howard, and I was always a fan of Howard's, so I said, really? I said, you know, well, if you ever should leave, could you hook me up? And he goes, uh, yeah, sure. So, thank God he got into a major car accident, and uh, he uh, <laughs> couldn't drive to work anymore, and I was pretty much hired uh, without even being seen. So Mitch Fatel was working for me as an intern at the time. It was getting more and more difficult for him to come in. And then he had a bad car accident with his car. He was okay, but he came to me and he said, listen, man, I'm screwed. My father's not going to pay for my car. My father's sick of paying me, working here for free. I got to leave, but I don't want to leave you in alerts. I got a friend at school at NYU who told me that he'd love to fill in and he could start next week and I don't, that way I'm not leaving you behind. And I think in Mitch's mind, he felt he was just, you know, doing us a favor by not leaving us without an intern. And I said, great. And then Mitch muttered under, sort of under his breath, almost as if he was embarrassed by it. And by the way, he stutters. And I said, what? He goes, and, and he stutters. And I go, okay, cool. And I didn't really put the connection together yet. Like, I thought to myself, like, okay, I don't know what degree he stutters. Gary came in the studio and said, Howard, there's a guy here that wants to work on the show. He's got a stutter. Howard said, hire him. <laughs> it was that quick. He said, well, don't you want to, I don't want to know nothing. I don't know if he's got a stutter. I didn't need to meet John to know I was sitting on a gold mine. I knew it'd be, anybody who stutters would be a great intern. If there's anybody listening and you have a stutter, please send your resume to Tracy. And so we all knew this guy who stuttered was coming to the show. We didn't realize the extent of the stutter, though, at the time. The next day, John came in, and we were assholes right off the bat. Howard said, I want you to tape the interview. So I did it down in Scott's studio, which I'd never done an interview there before. And my, my memory is vague, but the stuttering wasn't all that bad. Gary knew that John was a stutterer. So he brought him into my studio to do his interview so he could play it for Howard. So we interviewed him. It was funny as hell because he started like a madman because he was so nervous. I thought, wow, this is a weird office for Gary because it was in a studio. And it turns out the reason why I was there was because they were taping the whole freaking interview. <laughs> but they never aired because I didn't stutter then. And I don't know. I, I don't know. I just wasn't nervous around Gary. Um, probably because I was scared of those teeth. But I don't know. <laughs> He seemed like a good guy. He seemed like he fitted. He wasn't the kind of stutterer that you couldn't communicate with. You know, he just stuttered at certain times. Back then, there wasn't a big search. He was available, willing to get up every morning early for free. And what the hell, we hired him. Oh, who did? Uh -huh. Hey, hook nose. Why don't you get your two little balls up and tell AJ Ben the next time he comes in that his show stinks. Get some balls and confront him that he got canceled after two shows. He's worse than Chevy Chase, for Christ's sake. You're such a pussy, you won't say anything to him. Anybody else will break their balls. Yeah, you yeah what about that, Howard? Yeah, you pussy. <laughs> show your balls. Yeah, what about that? Are you By the way, it was four shows for their information, not yeah. the film. Chevy Chase only had two shows. You know, I did, you know, the funny thing is, Al Sharpton did my second show. Yeah. 
His hunger strike lasts longer than my show. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, not every show works, that's all. Oh, it worked. They just didn't get it. Yeah, that's the audience. They never get it. He's right? ahead of his time. You are ahead of your time. I think 20 years from now, they're going to look at those four shows. <laughs> yeah, put that in the time cap. <laughs> You're going to realize. You're like Yoko. Why did they cancel that show, AJ? They didn't. They hardly gave you a chance. I they, they gave me no hiatus. shot. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Listen, you did four episodes. It's enough. How many, oh, how many episodes do you need to do? Those hey. episodes will go down in history. Chris, you're on the air. Go ahead. Um, yeah, hi. I suffer from insomnia, and I tried sleeping pills. I tried sedatives. I tried everything, and I fi- and I finally found something that cures my insomnia. AJ after hours. Hey, Amen. <laughs> What is, uh, what is this? Come on. I'll tell you something right now. I don't, I, no, it's okay. It's all right. You can say that. But I will, I will do one thing before I leave today. Yes. I'm going to grab Stuttering John by the face, and I'm going to punch him <laughs> in his freaking head. <laughs> yeah, Mel, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, the only thing more embarrassing than this video is the AJ After Hours show. Oh. oh. That John right guy. Now. You know what? That's John right now. And you know who's really embarrassed? Oh. Even more embarrassed at that show than AJ? Oh. His hair. I jumped right off his head to get away from him. Hey, John. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was John. Yeah. I knew it. Get him in there right now. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to Christ, when I leave. <laughs> Do it. All right, let me tell you something. You fat bastard. You better leave early. No, there'll be tomorrow. I'm going to smack you silly, you prick. Tomorrow's story. Actually, the next break. Yeah. Well, after the break. Come hey, Howard, AJ stands for arrogant jerk, by the way. Oh, what happened with you guys? Arrogant jerk? I, what, what, I swear what to God. What happened with you The YouTube? next break, you watch what happens. I don't yeah. care if I have to come back again. I'm going to go in there and punch you. Hey, listen, I have some free hats for a little. I'll go right now. A good wig for you to wear back here, AJ. I'll go right now. No, no, don't go. Don't go. What are you doing? I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you worse than Chuck Zito. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> AJ, what happened between you two? Oh, he's going to go, going on? He's going to go beat John's ass. But why is John doing this? I don't know. John's nuts. <laughs> Something must have happened. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get the camera on that. Did you know it was John all along? No. No. <laughs> no idea. I just recognized his voice halfway through. All right. What happened to those guys? Punched in the head. Who punched in the head? I got punched. Why you did you get punched in the head? You were breaking apart and you got punched? John, that asshole. What? He went out and he punched John. He did? Yeah, told him to go home. Oh, Ooh, AJ? On. AJ punched John? Yes. And what, how did you and end John punched him. Well, I tried to get... I didn't think AJ was really going to punch him, so I was just trying to stay in the middle of him. Yeah. Uh, and he took a shot at John. He got me in the side of the head. <laughs> do we have oh my tape? God, you all right? The whole thing's taped, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing's taped. <laughs> we, John, John, and John on? went right back at him. Of course John's John did. Nuts. I thought that AJ was kidding around when he was like, shh, let me, where's John? Like, I thought it was a joke. Right. And I said, AJ, you can't punch him. He's like, no, I'm not going to punch him. And Uh-oh. then he punched him. Oh. But why didn't John run? <laughs> <laughs> Dopey. Yeah, I said, AJ, you can't come and punch a guy in the head at a job. Right. You do that after hours. <sighs> well, let's get AJ back in here now. Oh, God. Here they come. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> hey, don't, don't say the effort. What happened? Hey, there's only one person bleeding here, AJ. Oh, Who's you. bleeding? No. You're bleeding? That's right, and I'll beat your ass again. You come over here, I'll kick your ass, AJ, anytime. Oh, AJ, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Right. Yeah, Howard, what, this what, guy's what, mad at me because I put phone calls through that goof on him. No, no, you, that was you on the phone. No, no, no. He, no, he, I take a lot of heat. I don't he liked that call, but he doesn't like the other calls for the last three weeks. No, the, no, I take jokes, Sean. You know I take jokes. Howard knows that. Everybody yeah, knows what, that since when do you get offended by that? Because this guy's got, he got a little, the last few weeks, he's sandbagging me. Right. Howard, explain to AJ no, no, touch me. what my job is back there. Am I whoever supposed to now edit? Don't know. No, whoever calls in. <laughs> Thank you. You're supposed to put so Now go smack Howard now, AJ, because that's what what, ha- what happened, though? What happened? Too many, <sighs> too, too many weeks in a row. He's, he, too many calls again to that I think he can hang up on a guy. I see. I, I think he's in two pictures. Too many calls. I thought he'd hang no, up no, on No, 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 no. Listen, John, I take a lot. I, I always take heat from Hey, how about the calls that said that these guys dug that bad show of yours? I had oh, calls. Why you have to I had calls like, you know, why are you insulting that? that? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. This is what I had happened. calls saying that. What happened? The point is I take... Howard, how many times has there been calls saying that? Why are you fighting with Howard? How many calls has there been... You take a many positive calls about that. That says AJ is great. Yeah. I put no, it through. No, yes, I do. Yes, I do. A lot of calls lately have been putting through just to piss me off, I think. <laughs> I do. Well, that's not Listen, funny. any celebrity that comes in here, any guest... Calls come in positive. No, a lot of people call in negative. positive and then they no, get no, negative. They, 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 a lot of people they, call it in. It is easy to fool you. Okay, okay then I apologize. Well, it's easy to fool anyway. They fool you. They do. They fool you. I apologize. Let's watch the fight. I don't want to be. Wait, John will put. I don't want to be sandbagged by. No, 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 no. John will put through calls and say, hey, I think AJ's great on the show. And then the guy will get on the air and go, AJ's great. I stuff. understand that. Yeah, I right. understand that. But well, if I'm part of the family so to a extent. Dude, AJ, listen. You broke it, dude. You don't. Dude, you don't start smacking somebody, dude. I did. I did. And you're lucky I didn't beat your ass in because you had two guys in between me and you. I'll kick your ass right now. 
happened. Come on. What happened? No, no, no. Easy, easy, easy. No, how are you get to get Let me see. Listen, AJ, be part of the family. How are you part of the family? He started. He started. No, but no, I didn't start anything, dude. Let me take a look at the videotape of what just happened. Well, John is John waiting. There's AJ. I get in the middle because I think he's just kidding. Oh, wow. Can we do that slow motion? Wait, keep looking. It's a left smack. It was a left handed smack. Yeah, that's called a jack. Did I have my hands raised, AJ? I no. I, I didn't know that you were such a pussy that you were sticking to the ground. Wait a second. I let the jack shot at me, Tom. 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 Daddy's Tom. here. I told you I was coming to hit you, John. You should be fired. Tom, what do you think? Tom, what happened? Uh, you know what? I agree with John. Yeah. That's a sucker punch. I don't want the guy. I didn't even see it. I'll leave. I'll leave. Uh, the no point is, I told you I was going to hit you. I told you. You didn't tell me you were going to hit I told everybody here. Get the hell out of here, dude. I said you were early. Get out of here. Let's watch again. Across the big time. What happened? I don't want you know what, AJ, you that's don't That's okay, that's okay, here. then I'll leave. That's fine. fine. Oh, I don't want that guy wow. sandbagging. I, don't want I get the worst part of the punch. <laughs> I, know I don't you want to sandbag me. If that's what it takes, there, that's fine. No, there is no room. No, no hard room feelings, my Tom. radio station. For no hard feelings. Time. I just don't think the guy <laughs> so should leave. be sandbagging so me so many leave. times. Leave then. Be a man of your word. Leave. Oh, my God. Man, my word. No, no, no. Sit for a sec. Everybody calm down. Let's not make any rash decisions. Oh, my God. We got AJ thrown off the show. AJ, that's a line. Come on, I love AJ. It's a big time oh, it's line. Cool. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But I, uh, it's a big tough guy. Uh, don't let him walk past John. I'm serious here. I'll leave no problems, but I just think... Anytime, no, AJ. Wait, calm, calm anytime you see me in private, you lines. take me on. Calm down. Anytime. Calm down. Outside of the station, you take me on. I'm going to kick your freaking ass. All right. You, you see me out, got a pro fire you on see me out. This is I'm always good. out. Do you guys realize what you're arguing he's over? Throwing, he's no, Gary, he hit me. Don't make it look like I'm arguing about something stupid. This guy took a jab shot at me. I wasn't a jab shot. It was a jab shot. I told the whole room No one stops punching people. People around here. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you, you were so immature. You're gonna start taking shots sure. because of some phone call. No, it's too many times in a row, John. Too many times in a row. Too many times. I take calls for ev- all everybody. Push his button. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? I, take, right. I, know, I always take jokes here all the time. You don't. Know, you can say anything Howard about Howard knows what he's taking. Go, go ahead, Howard. He knows what calls are coming up there. Don't always come to then, John. AJ, people call in and say I'm that they're going to say something pussy. positive, and then they say something negative. But we all get negative no, stuff. No, I understand that. I just they call John, me I every all kinds of names. It's not one call, two calls. Big reporter who can't take a little criticism. You can report on my home. You can't take a little criticism. I do take it. I love those. Oh yeah, you take it. You smack somebody because you're going to Go through. I smack somebody because he does it too often to me. Too often? Oh, I, t- I, t- I can take it, but only in small no, ways. No, I take it all the time. Huh? I take it all the time. I got up and told the room I'm going to go smack him, and I did. <laughs> I, I, well, 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 not, how, You're a man of your word, but guess what? Guess what? So good. You can get, get the hell out of here and, I and, and have you your word. You're going back to talk. Wait a second. Dominic wants to say something. He is a lawyer. Like yes, Dominic. Perfect match. This is the next what fight. This, this is the next fight. Take it into the ring. Absolutely. Can't they just go downstairs now? No, no, no. <laughs> I hate to see AJ thrown off the show, I don't want to see AJ have to Maybe they could calm down. I oh, love AJ, but AJ, this was out of so control. So if this is the first time... That was, AJ was out of control. Right. You're right. Let me see Blocking again. Blocking John's what view of AJ. Ready for? I got it between it because I thought AJ might push him goofing around. That's what I thought. Oh! That's a smack, a left smack. <laughs> John's an animal. <laughs> he went after me. After I, I admire him for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. You went after me. Good for you. You, you got the hell up with your macho. With me. Not macho, John. I went. You told you. you got I me want pussy. to be on your. I went after your list, all right? Because you're a little pussy. I know. I am. I know. Wow. AJ. I came in and so I was gonna hit you. I hit you. Yeah, yeah, big right. macho guy. Big macho AJ. What no, do I get like these guys in the room? No, what do no, I do I'm here, Tom? I'm not saying my macho. So great. They're out of your little bit. This is my point. See? Oh, wait. Do you see the attitude? This is this is why. This is your point. No, I put call. Howard, how many times do I put calls that say AJ's great? A many million. Thank you. Thank you. Millions. The point is. The way you're acting exactly. right now. The way you're acting funny right now. today. The way you're acting right now about I want to be in your list and you're not. Yeah, I don't That's want you to tell me I'm. This is I'm a man because I came after you. I don't want your macho I don't know. I don't want to be part of your, your club, okay? This is, right, right. this is what I like about you. you do, I don't want to be part of your arrogant This is in club. your head all, every day. You see me. It's always there no, when you see I'm me. I'm always nice see, to you. There is an undercurrent. No, is, there, is, is there anything before today? I'm always nice before to AJ, Howard. I love that. Hold on. AJ, is there, before the phone calls, forget that. Is there anything between you and John before that? No, nothing before. It's the phone calls. No, no, no. Now it has changed, AJ. As soon as you smack somebody, things change, I think. I've been around long enough to know that, John. But when I start up in this chair, I tell the whole room, what I was going to do, and we all I laughed. believed you. We all you laughed. laughed. I, didn't, I didn't think I No one told me to do it, but we all laughed when I said I was going to do it. No, I, I didn't think you were going to do it. No one, thought, no one thought. Guys, time out. Guys. I mean, I what's the big deal if someone says your show sucks? You don't, Who cares? But, but, Howard, you don't need, no, I, I get that all day. Wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> you went outside. When I walked outside, cameras were rolling all over the joint. Oh, you yeah. guys do it for the camera? No, you guys were prepared for it. You knew it was no, coming. No, but AJ, AJ. Okay, okay. We videotaped everything. Come on, the door opened. The cameras were right there. AJ, AJ I got to tell you something. That's the show. You walk out of here and you've been part of something. They're waiting for you in the hall because... Always? Not yes. when I can't leave in the hall. Yes. No, but you're different because you're not a regular guest on the show. When you were a guest on the show... I'm more than that leave. Now I'm part of, no, I was part of a family. When you were a guest on the show, like and you would leave... Oh, I'm, I was cool to you. <laughs> no, you haven't been recently. Yes, yeah, so I John, go ahead. You're on the air. John, I'm sure John taunts him. Admit it, John. Never. You taunt no, him. No, I don't see I don't, him. I, been nice I didn't say you taunted him. I didn't, taunt him. I didn't say you taunted me. Greg, go ahead. Wow. AJ's just mad that his uh, night show sucks. No, I'm not mad off. about that. I talk, listen, I laughed about just that get stuff. Off. Yeah, you got that other guy back <clears throat> that does all the voices. He's How many? Funny anyway, AJ's just a little crossy. Now he can't blame John for this. John is not. I love AJ. I think he just got completely out of control. I lost it. He lost it. Based on you know uh, making fun of people, people calling That's in, so and he gets, goes around and cries. Yeah, well, I tell you, uh, this is a, a, a perplexing problem. I see Tom's head is spinning. No, no, no. <laughs> no we no, need to think about this no, for a while. No, I don't need to. Think yes, about we it do. For a while. Tom, what Tom, is it, Dave? Here's this. If, if What's I up may. with AJ? He can't take a joke. I no one take a joke. I take plenty Crystal. of jokes. Billy Crystal can't no. take a joke. Come on, I take plenty of jokes. I really do. I take a lot of heat for a lot of stuff. Yeah, but you yeah, can't hit can't a guy over So John's wrong. I think John pushes buttons a lot you know more what? than other people yeah, do. Yeah, way John's over the wrong. top. Considering I know John and I'm part of the family, yeah, it's over the top. But sometimes you got to teach a lesson. A John, I, maybe it's that's wrong. Dude, that's some no macho lesson. crap that doesn't, that doesn't fit. So you're not helping yourself. Right. right. You know, <laughs> what happens come next? Come on. Like, nothing was going to happen next. Tom, if I wanted to punch him, I would punch him. I smacked him with a left hand. AJ, AJ, it's not funny. It's not fun. <laughs> I can tell you, I've been you here know. a long time, AJ, and I've seen a lot of people get pretty riled up, but almost, maybe We've the, never the second other. time in the history of the show, somebody's throwing a punch. Well, guess what? You'll have the show every week for the next month and a half. True. You'll all be happy. And it's not fun. It's I not didn't fun. do it for that reason. I didn't do it for that reason. I did it because... Believe me, I take all jokes. I love no, that you stuff. Don't. No, you, you don't. don't. What other day besides today was I pissed off? Every day you walk in here, there's an opportunity to get pissed off. And I don't. Every time you're going to have the opportunity to get dumped on. But I don't. And, and there is no, there is absolutely no place to throw in a punch. But I just think since not, I'm around long, since I'm not like a star no. since once in a while, <clears throat> since I'm part of the family to an extent, I think John should be a little that cooler. Make, about you know what? That makes it only makes you yeah. more uh, open hold to on being a picked on. Gary's part of the family. Gary gets plenty of negative calls. I'm <clears throat> part of the family. I get plenty of negative calls. I haven't heard no one goes and I haven't, up, no one goes and has a problem with the guy taking the call. I haven't heard you send the call. Howard gets plenty. Howard about somebody bitching on you in a long time. What are you talking about? What, what are you I'm saying? You're AJ, crazy. Someone calls him bad mouth. He'll put him through. AJ, what would happen if a guest hit you? Would that be okay? If a guest hit me? Yeah, and punched what, you. What do you mean, what capacity? Well, you insulted him, you teased the guest. What if Trump was here and he punched you? <laughs> and all of a sudden the guest punched you, would that be okay? Uh, I don't know, Dominic. I'm for a fight all the time. If I'm, I don't know. If there's a reason for a we'll fight, I don't know. I told John that I was going to come in and smack him when he was doing the wrong thing to me. Go not, in not, Tom, you make a good point. You're, you're right about that, and I apologize about that. And I apologize for the people in the room, but I'm not going to be... John has a thing that he keeps doing. He really sleep. doesn't, though. I, yeah, he does. Uh, he doesn't. He puts so, just no, all the calls through. I mean, if any, you listen, you can and you know what, I got to tell you, calls again, I'm not we trying to get, get you mad at Howard, but Howard has the ability to select which ones he wants, and sometimes he selects but ones. But sometimes he doesn't have the right information. And so sometimes he doesn't have the right information. Like Melrose Larry will call in and give me something totally different, and then start ragging on Cabby or something. I mean, it just happens. That's how it goes. But we all get very sensitive in here every mm -hmm. once in a while, and we think we're being oh, picked on. on. That's well, part God, of the you, territory. You guys, I've heard. Oh, believe me, I felt like doing what you did today a million times to everyone on the show, but I've never done it. Cabby, what is your thought on this Mysteries you know I, I think it's i think it's sad that uh, you know and all the all the troubles john and i have had i've never ever raised my hand to him i think aj is a pussy oh come on uh, cabby oh, go get <laughs> him uh, oh, well, I, when i stand with this male john knows better. about when but you're knows better. i didn't think you were gonna hit me but dude. john i if told I you i was i had my hands i up. told you i, I didn't was, think you were that big of a, a pussy i don't think it's a pussy to do what i did you just said i'm apologizing for somebody that's being a pussy that's not a man a man doesn't jab somebody a man comes up and goes i'm gonna hit I, made, I, told, That's what a man does. I told the whole country, no, no. I'm going to smack you. No, 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 call. No, no, you no. made a call, I'm, I smacked you. I'm sorry, no, no. no uh, AJ uh, is uh, clearly uh, wrong. John is in the right. You don't hit a guy. Yeah, I agree. Work. I you agree don't. about you, that. You screwed up. John, I just said you should know how it works before you raise your hand to somebody. But John, when you get a phone call, if a guy has an instantly nasty thing to say... Do you always put them through? He yes. puts everything yes. through. And and guy guy the right show, no matter what. That's every call. good radio. And if the guy says AJ's great, I'll put it through. No, I think all that stuff, but every single call? Everything. Every call. Even, about, I think even about me. All he's looking for is good phone calls. Well, it's, it's realism, AJ. Take it. I do, Cab. Come on. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just went and smacked John for no reason. 
He didn't yeah. rip on you. He was playing with you. Watch the taping. Oh, he, I, I, you don't have to say like. No, I, mean, I have to say I like. You, you sit there and say at all, AJ. You sit there and say you're part of the family. Would you hit somebody in your own oh. family? Maybe yes. <laughs> no. no, I would not. Exactly. You wouldn't people hit somebody in your own family. Own family. But I think people in my own family wouldn't necessarily come at me like John does with those kind oh. of phone calls. What's going on here is that I think in Howard's head, he knows that asking AJ to leave is the right thing. But AJ has now become the most interesting guy in the world. And you hate right. I hate to. I like AJ a lot. Now, I, I think I that, but I do think AJ. AJ. Wait a minute. Why is he the most interesting guy? Because now it's a guy I, who's capable of anything. No, no, I admit that. <laughs> He's completely insane. No, no, I admit that it was wrong. So what's the minute to give him that? In all seriousness, and tell me if this is wrong, Tom. And, Tom, you, you make the final decision. I'm not the boss. But it seems to me that if John wants A.J. gone, he's got to be oh, gone. no, don't Whatever John that. says, no, I'll no, abide no, by no, no, right. no. It's got to be because, I mean, because John was sucker punch. Well, whatever John says, I'll abide by I got, and, and, and Here's and the deal, Howard. I love AJ, Howard I if he sits in that chair, believe me, when he's not looking, I'm going to come up and jab him in the face. Because <laughs> no one's going to jab me like that and not get jabbed back. I'm sorry. I don't right. think it was jab. I think it I was won. jabbed, AJ. You don't go you. smacking somebody with someone's... Uh, you told me you were going to smack me? Yeah. No, you didn't. John is going to make an emotional decision. John, That's not necessarily yeah. the best. Yeah, but it's tough. Like, I come over there and smack you in the face. See how long I stay. And you want to right, Robin? How about I do that? And that's a good point. All right, Robin. All you so care much. about is the freaking show. But here's a guy who just no, you're did right, an act that you should be brought. If it was anybody else, if it was a Hold guy it. came in here naked once and Wait, was allowed John back is in the show. Right. This guy hits me and now he's okay for me to be here. John is right. John is right. If AJ went over and smacked Robin, no, come on, that's just it. Wouldn't be a question. I know better. I'd run out. Robin has no respect for me, and that's the difference here. Because it's me. I respect you. Crap. I respect you. Well, I was under the impression, and you should not. You should be safe. He cares about the show over me, and that's fine. No, no, no. And I'll and I'll deal with you in the same way. You should this way. If AJ smacked you in the face, I would have a headlock by now, Johnny. Hey, listen, I'm not That's saying, what you, I'm not saying he should be allowed to stay. He can stay. I'm going to smack him in the face. <laughs> but I can't, stay. I can't stay because I can't have a guy. We can't allow, we can't allow that you either. Can't as wrong, going on as, wrong as AJ was, I'm not going to leave AJ here to get sucker punched. And, and John, then you know what? If you do that to AJ, even though on a manly no, level. Telling me it's, it, too, 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 no, I'm too telling you that Tom would be within his rights to get rid of you. This is why people go to war. This is why whole countries have to go war. When have I raised a hand to anybody in the 14 years I've been here? John, if you said... If you said to me right now that you understand what AJ did in some way or you feel that AJ has apologized and you can live with it, do I love AJ on the show? Of course, I have him on the show. I love having AJ on. Something very unfortunate just happened just here. Happened. That's true. First of all, let's hold on. Donald it Trump. Donald Trump is on the phone. Donald Trump is on the phone. Donald Trump. Howard. How are you, Donald? How are you? Listen, I told you that AJ was a loser, Howard. I've been you that for a long time. And listen, if I'm if I'm advising John, John, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. Now, I'm a rich guy. You're a poor guy. Just listen. The first thing you do, and I have to t tell you that Tom is right. He ought to throw AJ the hell out. You bring a lawsuit against AJ, you get everything he makes, which isn't much. Sadly, and I love Howard, but sadly, you have to bring the lawsuit against the show because they're the only ones with any money. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks a lot. John, I represent everyone there. Listen to me, John. What you have to do, John, is leave immediately, bring a lawsuit against both, and you're going to become a rich man. You're never going to have to work again and suffer the abuse of You see that? He's millions in it for you, John. I have to tell you, Tom is 100% right. That's why he's throwing AJ off the show, Howard. Uh, all right. Well, Donald. But I did tell you, hey, hey, Howard, yes. he's no Johnny Carson. Right. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Well, well, Zolar thinks he has some information here that will help. And, and well, let's turn to someone who, Zolar is very solemn and like, yes, Zolar. Yeah, first of all, I always call in and tell John my topic. And then at the end, before I hang up, I say, AJ, how many guys did you give a BJ to? Right. To get that job. And I think that John should get to smack him in the face. I don't know that that's going to settle anything. Why not? Did you, is that what you want, John? Like jab me, I'll jab you. It's not a jab. I know you're coming. No. Oh, oh, no. You just stand there and take a smack like a man, AJ. Just what? like Chuck Zito said, I'm going to punch you. Get ready for your punch, and I AJ. I took it, and I took it. Yeah, so take the smack. Don't be a bitch. Oh, then why? Should I then file a counter lawsuit and we'll all get crazy lawyers? No, no, the then point? you'll be even, you faggot. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. The fact of the matter is, this has to be resolved now. They have put people through who said I should have died when I had cancer. <laughs> right. So and by the way, I said, said that Tom that should have died. That was me <laughs> on the phone. I told Tom he should have died. AJ, Tom's a good sport. He, I said to him, and I'll take the heat for this. When he had cancer, I, I said I wish you'd have taken your life. Yeah, I did. 
And, and the Tom, moment they you know I don't know what that was. I laughed. That's right. And Tom laughed. <laughs> so, John, you want to even up? You want to smack me back? Would you, would you smack AJ? Let's, would re- that even let's recreate enough? it. Let's put Gary between us. You walk in and smack him with your left hand like I did. Let's recreate it. All right, that's fair. everybody gets the clobber. Giant recreation. Do you want to smack him? It doesn't make it. Do you want to smack the guy or not? Let's do it. Let's recreate it. Why don't you smack him and then we'll be done with it? Does that satisfy everyone? Let's go in that room. Everybody, then we will smack AJ. Let's recreate it. And then from that point on, there's never any more hitting anywhere in this. I agree to that. You will? Of course. Look at Tom's face. Look at Tom. Tom, what do you think of this? Uh, Listen, the person I I need to make sure is happy at the end of the day here is John. Yes, I understand that. Me too. John finally in a position of power. Tom, I got got an extra 20 grand on my (laughs) salary next year. No, you can't get that. Don't make it a batter of that. Don't stop milking. Say that or don't. No. Come on, let's do it. You're not kidding anything. Let's do it. You know, there's one guy on this show I'm going to defer to right here. Okay, go ahead. Fred Norris. I think he's. I think he's a the the fair one. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Martian so. logic on. Hold it. it. Stephen Baldwin wants to say something before Fred issues hey, his. Stephen Baldwin. What is it, Stephen? Hey, hey, John. AJ smacked you. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of advice is that? You know what's funny about all this? What? Let me tell you something. John's no rocket scientist, but at least he's like a solid, righteous guy. Listen to AJ already, like, putting all these terms and conditions about how John can get rested. Well, he doesn't want to get clocked. Yeah, Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, Stephen, 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 I'm directing it. I'm directing it. I'm gonna, we'll do it like I did it to him. We'll make it happen again. Same thing over again. Uh, but it's not the same thing. You're expecting it. You're going you're gonna, to, like, tighten up. Exactly. Like Maybe that's worse. face up. Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Listen, let's go to Fred. Stephen, thank you. You're no help whatsoever. John, kick his ass. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, pay per view. Well, I would go for a pay per view, that's for sure. That's but, uh, Fred? Fred? But Fred, I'd prefer to see like a pay per view event, a boxing event. Fred, so everyone is turning to you for advice. No, Why are we at Number one, AJ's, AJ should have never lifted his hand to John. Okay, that that's we know. Much of a pain in the ass is Agreed. John can be I agree. Time. I agree. All right. Never, ever do it to I no reason. Look at Tom so going, I can't believe we're leaving this up to Fred. <laughs> I agree. We never Anything after no, 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 I respect so, Fred, but John can't be putting John sitting in here pissed position. off wanting to attack Maybe we are putting John in an awkward position. John, are you in well, I, I didn't hear how... What, how, what, how, what, how what do we do this? We <laughs> all ignored Fred as usual. <laughs> what did you say, Fred? <laughs> what? You want, now, now you want me to continue yeah, I'm after, sorry. You, after you interrupt? I'm Jeez. sorry. Now yeah, Fred wants to hear you now. It's just taking you forever. What is your decision? My decision is either John hits AJ or AJ has to walk. Okay. That's what I offer. That's Washington Justice. What'd you that's say? Martian that's Martian justice, and, and you know what? what? That's, What's... that's right, fat boy. <laughs> you know, I know I went too far by doing that. I know that I'm part of the group, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't have went overboard and, and raised my hands. I know that. Right. You can't hit him. What is your decision, John? Really, it comes down. Um, to I, I really think that uh, I'll abide by anyone. Uh, here's, here's the uh, you know difficult thing. You know, when he smacked me in there, I wanted to kill him. Go ahead. You know, there was uh, there was nothing that was going to hold me back from killing him. <laughs> right. Now, like now, just go up and smack him in the face is kind of like a gay thing to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, but John, this I love that. Came out of this. Well, you get on. to your but decision. But in the same breath, <laughs> I don't want this guy, you know, I, I think now he's got, you know, went over on me and I, and I can't live that down either. I understand I you from a man's point of view. So, right. so, so the, I'm torn between those two things. How do you feel about AJ staying here the rest of the day? Do you need time to think about this? Would you like him I'm to leave? I'm just going to tell you, Howard, knowing me and I'm, and I'm a pretty, uh, you know, sane guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> with the loop. you might you might lose it and hit I, AJ. I, I, I might see him, you know, in the halls, and I might just jap him in, in the same way because so, it, uh, all it takes uh, me is to think can about we do the what incident. I said then. One good thing Kim has is John doesn't stutter anymore. Yeah, but let me say something. <laughs> Even you're still fat, Dominic. <laughs> right. Maybe AJ should hit you, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should. I think that AJ uh, lost control. Yes, and AJ was wrong. Which and I've admitted to. Yes, you have. But I think it shows that the potential exists. But yes, it does. But he's also new to this situation. Okay. That's right. Do I think he'll do it again? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what a lot of people will do. I don't, I don't know. Do it again. I don't I'm not saying that for the I can't game. promise I think, you that AJ will not, not, not go not. berserk. I don't think he'll do it to John again. I will right. hit but I can't, body again. But I'm not saying that for the sake of working here another day. I'm just, I just want to show myself. that you're in control. AJ is going to leave now. No problem. AJ is going to leave now. I would like AJ to return tomorrow if AJ is up for that. If you, if John and AJ can talk this through. Yes. John, can you agree if AJ comes back tomorrow morning till we get on the air and we'll make a decision mediation? to please just steer clear of him and not get involved in japping him? I'm not going to come in to find out the decision. When you reach it, you call me. I, 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 agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, shop and go. We've reached a conclusion. No, is what I got enough TV out of me. And I think, yeah, and I think AJ, I think AJ. Yeah, the shelf just right. So I leave my, yeah. I, listen, I love John and I love AJ. I do. 
I love these Your guys. allegiance has to be with John, I understand. My allegiance, Everybody in the room my allegiance is doing the right thing, and I can't have a work environment where you is, smack people. Right. John, Whatever you guys decide. I'm, yeah, it's yeah, unfortunate so. what happened to you. I am sorry for what happened to you. Well, let's cool down. Everybody will take a break from this, and we'll figure it out. Who did this? Uh-huh. You know, when we go to Vegas, Artie was bragging in the hall the other day that he said there's no chick on the planet who could throw overhand, you know, throw like a, a professional baseball. baseball pitcher that he couldn't hit. Right. Now, an underhand softball pitcher, there's probably chicks who can make me look retarded. But I think it's going to be hard to find a chick who throws overhand with a hardball who could strike me out. But it's still coming in 65 miles an hour like a fastball. 65 off. miles an hour, I could hit. Easy. So you can hit a softball underhand. He's 65. saying that he could hit any chick. You remember how he did the basketball thing when we went to yeah, Vegas? Yeah. He's saying, forget about basketball. <laughs> He's saying any chick who throws overhand, he right. could hit her. If th- like a like a major league uh, player, like a hardball baseball overhand, Mike. I think it's going to be hard to find a chick who could strike me out. Yeah, that's what he. And I can't believe the <laughs> hours they spend on this argument. Yeah. Well, first, John, well, let's just let's find out. I'll find like the best chick I can find. I'm ready. My- Make your claim. You're saying you could hit. You got to find a chick. Now I don't know how easy this is going to be to find because not a lot of chicks throw over him. No, there's a minor league. A couple of girls are made in minor leagues and stuff. They'll find her. Oh yeah, definitely. They throw like eighty miles an hour. There you go. And you're saying That's you could hit her? For it. I'm saying she won't strike me out. How about the other hand? Yeah, the underhand that? chick. I, He's I, not even going to uh, approach that. No, that, that's that's a whole separate issue. Yeah. I'm not going to claim that. Yeah, yeah, why is that different though? Yeah, why is that different? Because that's a whole different. And that's skill. a softball. It's a softball. It's yeah. bigger. You should be able to hit it better. It's from. It's a whole different sport. Women's softball. It's right. It's coming thing. from a different direction. You got to look for different things. I'm admitting. Yeah. I'm admitting those broads will strike. No, me because out. they do a weird spin yeah. thing. It's and not it's, even. A, it's closer. It's it's closer. Yeah, than no, 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 no. You're talking about a hard ball. About what the men play. He's saying he could hit off any chick. Right. What the <laughs> He's men, so funny. What the what the guys play. What right. the real. Why is it though that a guy who throws 80 miles an hour. And a chick who throws 80 miles an hour is different. Well, I could hit an 80 mile an hour pitch. Well, you can. A, major, yeah, he's uh, a minor league hit. player is throws 95. Right. I'm saying I don't think you can find a chick who throws 95 miles an hour over him. Right. And uh, if you do, she'll probably strike me out. I don't think. Uh, what if she's got some uh, action? Well, that's the thing. You got to have movement on the pitch. Yeah. Plus, we got to get an umpire to call balls and strikes. Right. Yeah. Because if she's going to throw all balls on these whacked out outside pitches, of course you can't hit it. Right. And you got to you got a good catcher. Right. And uh, let's I'd... go. You're on. That's one of our little things we're going to do. Artie, will you give up drinking for a month if she strikes you out? Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 All right. Here's the deal. Think. No. If a chick strikes you out, <laughs> wait a second, Artie. I'll put up a grand. All right. No, grand doesn't mean anything to you. For some reason, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. You, you don't mind doing that. All right. If she strikes you out, you have to give up drinking for a month. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Drinking and gambling. Yeah. Oh. Ah! In Vegas, but, we're going to do this. But if she doesn't strike you out, yeah. you get the whatever. Let's say we get a 10 grand prize or something. You get the 10 grand yeah. in Vegas. You can gamble it all night. You can drink and gamble everything. I'd but rather. you have to stop drinking right then and there. What if I put up five grand? No. No. What if I put up ten grand? It's gotta hurt. Artie. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. I'm just <laughs> do it. Ah, <laughs> drinking and gambling. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be. But then you win ten grand if you get the hit. Yeah, and you say you could do this. College hoops is then NCAA. I know. I know that's. You could just stop drinking for a month. Hey Howard, what? This is the argument I was having with Artie in the hall the other day, and. Well, John thinks he's a I will bet Artie five thousand dollars. He will strike out three times in a row from a, from a, from, a, from a college baseball female pitcher. Really? You know, like that they caliber. don't have college baseball sure, female listen, pitchers. They have we're college? on sites now. They do have like <coughs> women leagues. I guarantee you will whiff three times. This is Artie. what goes on in the halls. <laughs> All right, what, what, wait a second. It's a broad. What, what constitutes, in other words, what's a hit? If Artie makes contact and it lands in the field, that's a hit. Yeah, yeah a strikeout. You, you know what the Mets do uh, all nine calm innings? Down, strike calm out? Down, calm down. That's uh, why there's three strikes. So she threw the first pitch and Artie hit it and it landed in center field. That's it's it. over. Over. That's it. Right? right? Yeah. John, you yeah, would... no, I think he will strike out. He, 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 he's delusional. He Like, like him and the pace. No, like, you're delusional. All county baseball he's players. He's going to do one and That's all we're talking I'll about play, here? Take me out of the picture. I'm talking about you and a, and a woman, Artie. You and the best female player in the world, you will get your ass kicked. Let's find out what we're talking about. We're talking about one at bat. He just has yeah. to go up there and hit. I right? square around and yeah. bump. I'll he, square around and bump. Oh, that's not. That's, Come not on. that's a hit. Yeah. 
Let him bunt. Well, 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 how, no, no, no. And, I mean, ball. I could bunt. The, I mean, anybody could bunt. I could stri- Dude, first of all, there's there, there's major league pitchers I won't strike out against right now. What? Oh, <laughs> See what I'm saying? Cool. He's out of his mind. The Yankees used to have a pitcher, this guy, Bob Shirley. I swear to God, I could have gone two for four. <laughs> Artie's in that weird area where he doesn't realize he was all county 17 years ago. Yeah. Hey, and and the guy's ago? telling you he's putting his money where his mouth is. He's uh, saying, well, man, forget the women. Let's get a professional. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kidding about it. He's like some guy on a Tampa Bay Devil Rays. I bet oh. their oh. worst pitcher. Ten grand. Ten grand, oh, dog. God, please. No, any pitcher on the First of all, any I, hold on, hold on, any pitcher on the Tampa Bay Devil Rays will strike you. When I was beating that broad fourteen nine, I wish we had a still shot at John. Yeah, because Gar- he owed me five hundred bucks. Take, he did not have on him. We didn't and take. Was, we didn't take the girl you said you beat. A girl in the WNBA. We took a bench player. The seven on the bench. Dude, Kobe Bryant. And Ryan you still lost. Not defend my outside fadeaway. Still oh, lost. You're sure about that? Outside fadeaway jumper. Now he's where's he right. going? You know, it's funny because Artie and John were arguing about who's just better at sports between the two of them. Yeah. And at one point, it got like it was funny, it was funny, and then it wasn't funny. And Artie goes, right now, I'll take you out five grand, I'll beat you at stickball. Now, now. <laughs> John, I, John me, was dragging everybody around to every person in the station who's ever seen him play baseball. Saying, I was good? a good ball player. If Howard, me, I'm not saying that I'm a great ball player. Artie's saying he's a great ball if player. Me and, no, I'm saying I'm better than you. All right, let's, no. let me understand what we're doing in Vegas. Yeah, he's saying he can beat a woman. If uh, me and John play, play, you know, Howard, this is how it started. I had a girl on my baseball <laughs> On my tournament team. So he says girls can't be good in baseball. That's how it starts. His tournament team. Yeah. You a bunk. traveling team. Your tournament in North Mass. So you little traveled. The you best little league. league. You found a bus that had an engine? So <laughs> Tournament team. You traveled. How yeah. old were you, John? How old were you? 13. <laughs> so how old were you? 16 already? You dude, found a bus. Dude, dude. My high school baseball team was all men. The chicks kept score. And, you know, <laughs> this is how the goes. So then it got to the point, how where I said, I bet you I can find the girl that will strike you. And Artie doesn't believe it's possible. I'm just saying, John, if you're on a baseball team and you just said well, you can't strike uh, from a temple big... Devil Ray. John, John. I mean, that's how crazy John, you are. if you're on a baseball team... You know what? Let's right, 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 right. There's, no, there's a lot being said. There's a lot Howard, to up prove. The bet. Yeah. Up the bet. Screw the girl. I bet you... A t- any major league pitcher can strike you out. Oh, but John, I know. I'm busting your chops. All right, so then any girl, then. Get a broad who throws overhand hardball. All right. Okay? Yes, Patrick, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. There's a girl named Jenny Finch who was smoking hot. Yeah. She's an Olympic softball player. Softball player. player. I, right, wait a minute. She can throw overhand. I've seen her whip the ball across the diamond. She can strike Artie out. That's the one who struck me out. out. Bring her on. Yeah. That's, that's the one struck you Yeah, out? that's the one who struck Yeah. She struck out my she piazza. so hot. She With struck out my pets in softball or baseball? Softball. 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 Baseball. He's talking about baseball. Okay, but, but how? I understand. Big I've difference. her throw the ball. It, she, she will strike Artie out with baseball overhand. She's phenomenal. She's <laughs> really hot, too. She looks like Beth you, as a pitcher. Really? Wow. Yeah. Smoking. I guarantee I can get a hit off Beth. <laughs> listen, listen. I doubt that. You get, but it's not going to be like last year where I got forty shots the night before no. and didn't get any no, warm up. You, and you give me, you, you give me a half an hour of batting practice, and there ain't a broad on earth that strike me. It's out. not going to be like last year that we get a girl on a, some college team. This is oh, going to be a real. You never heard of Penn State? Yeah, she was, she some college. She was team. a bench warmer. So oh, we the, just pulled her college. We're Penn State. The best. She was the captain of a Final Four NCAA team, and I. Ran the court. I was brilliant. <laughs> the genius. The, the genius. The didactic. The and I took 500 bucks from you, Artie. <laughs> the genius outside shot, top of the key, mongrel. This time. <laughs> Say it, hemophiliac Gary, Gary, victim. Gary. Don't screw it up this time. This time Say it. The best, Say it, mongrel. The best female pitcher there is. <laughs> bling, bling. There you go, John. You stuttering, disgusting, malicious, facetious, disgusting mongrel. Hemophiliac victim. So anyway, Gary, Gary. So Say it, chlamydia victim. Gary, gotta, Say it. you got to get the best player to you Ask the it genius. Howard, it's got to be the best player. Howard, Howard or John, you played we on a get tournament team. Get him. Oh, here's How much said. money are you putting up against Artie? Five grand right now. You're putting up yeah. five, five grand, but no, it's got to be the best 
female pictures. Well, how are we going to find well, out? How am I, I mean, how do we know the, the, who is the best Howard, female picture? We got a, a bunch of you know, websites. So you'll contact them we'll and you find one. You find the oh, one. I should find the best no, one. No, no, no. I said we'll, we'll you find, the find the best one. What? Don't, don't go to some. Land. Don't go to some obscure college like Penn Effing State. Are you kidding me? You're Artie, kidding. your initial statement was you would beat a WNBA player. And I would have got 10 you points. You lost a, a seventh player we on a playing, college team. If my outside shots you were worth two, a girl who he would have won if it was worth two. If my outside shots were worth two, it wouldn't even have been a game. That girl wasn't done. a good player, man. Come she on. wasn't a good player. She wasn't bad. She, she just she wasn't even. She, she wasn't was a aggressive. Chick. She didn't know no how to way. handle she was his a chick. She was horrible. Who oh, did? Uh, Tell you what, if you get a hit, oh. Wait, you have to listen. Let me make you a deal. <laughs> no drinking for a month. Come on, whoa, 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 whoa. If on. you don't, if if you get a hit, yeah, sex with Pam Anderson well, or you, Carmen Electra. How are you gonna arrange that? I can't. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Don't worry about it. Let me handle it. You can arrange that. I'd be in the gym. Well, you know he arranged it for himself. He just ain't telling. <laughs> Alan, the what? only way Artie's getting to first base off this chick is if he slips her a roofie. Uh, <laughs> what are you betting on? I mean, I mean, doesn't this, the, this We haven't sound crazy? seen Artie play baseball. We haven't seen this girl play baseball. Well, I need to see. Baseball in 10 years, he hasn't you know what? Artie's a real good athlete. He really is. I, I'm and kidding. everybody says on those little leagues that you guys do in the summertime, Artie's good. John. I don't know, though. That chick that I saw on Jimmy Kimmel's show mm -hmm. that struck out Jimmy. And Jimmy Florentine, uh -huh. I got to tell you something. She's pretty good. Underhand. Underhand, Underhand but, I, but, but they're saying still. she throws good overhand. I, uh, I used to play semi-pro ball, too, man. I just I couldn't even see the ball. See, you were so semi-pro. Right. No, I'm telling you, Jim, yeah. I guarantee a chick could uh, could beat me with that softball. Crap. You played semi-pro ball, and you're saying you couldn't see her pitch? I couldn't see it. It came in so quick. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez, he saw one pitch, the best player in baseball. He's like, I'm not batting against you, and he walked away. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. But already on. Bring her on. You, you're missing the point. Underhand, of course I can. Hit what, but why? Because it's a, it's a broad game. It's a chick game. <laughs> it's the same way she's the probably better at me than hit she's that. better at me than a, at a hook rug. But I'm the, sure too. The ball comes in. It's a bigger ball and it comes in fast. It, yeah, Tim, you're on the it's air. A different thing. Yeah, my my money is on Artie. One hundred percent. The only reason why a, a girl softball player can strike you out is because they're so much closer than a baseball. Right. right. And, you know, but Artie. You know what, Artie? I had a girlfriend when I was 16 who was 19, was all state softball, tried to strike me out, and I was getting a bat on it. I'm not even that good at baseball. I think I don't think that a girl could strike you out in three at bats. I just got to get a bat on the ball, man. That's Mike, it. you go ahead. That's yeah, Howard, first of all, yeah, softball is only 40 feet away. Right. Hardball is 60 feet, six, six yeah, inches away. Can a girl away. do that? Yeah. And we're going to walk it off. Take Artie down to the Chelsea Piers to the batting cage. We're doing it in Vegas. Yeah, but he try it at the batting cage first, maybe. Howard. I don't think he can hit the medium pitch. I jogged oh, with Artie, Howard. Dude, I, I jogged with Artie. He couldn't last a mile. But it's this is an endurance. Jogging up because you, you pussy. You're not the same shape as you were ten years ago. God. Let's go play he stickball. Have to play Let, a game. Let's play stickball. He's got to swing a bat fast, John. Rob, and he can't even. John, uh, me and you in stickball. Here's the score: forty nothing. Guy can't. Four guy can't even blink nothing. fast, Robin. Genius. Play stickball with him. Why are you not listening? Why are you talking to Robin? Talk to Artie. He's telling you he's challenging you to stickball. He said he's going to win 40 nothing. Uh, That's what Artie said. I tore my collar. I, I can't even throw oh, the ball. Oh, he tore his collar. Right you and your best player tore, on your team, I tore my cartilage <laughs> in my arm. Oh, you should have heard Artie. Artie was saying to John that he wasn't a good player because there was a girl on her Yeah, like he's such a chauvinist. And John, John, you were living. You're, you're such a chauvinist. Your argument is you were on a traveling team when you were 13? No, no I, I was so mouth. good that I made the tournament team. You were so good. Yeah, I was an all-star, then tournament. You and then Kathleen. See, first comes the all-stars, <laughs> then comes the tournament. No, only here's one our, girl, Artie. Here's one our girl. pitcher, Natalie. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so How dumb. many girls are on the team you one. played? No, there was only one girl on my team. And, and what about the girls the on the team? other team? There was no other girls on the team. She was the only exception to the rule. Did but she, there are other exceptions that will strike Artie out. Find that chick who was on your tournament team. Eileen. Yeah, find her. She was great. What's she doing now? She's raising what, children. What's, yeah. What she? Should what are you doing, doing now? <laughs> I'm on the Howard Stern. Yeah, show. but are you playing ball? No. I'll play you're ball. Eating and drinking. You know what? This afternoon, I want to get out there. I, you, you got me going. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. You're going. Look at this stand in Vegas. <laughs> See how I said it would be good. This is when we were all getting the halls, and you got mad at me. But he's crazy. Hey, so you're putting up five grand. What yeah. do you put? You putting up five grand against him? And no drinking. Listen. Now, forget the drinking for a second. I know, I'm teasing. That, that's a tough one. <laughs> and, and Howard, you know he's going to drink the night before anyway. Yeah, he's going to say he's He'll be seeing double. Drinking minutes before. Dude, we already got, we got a calendar filled up with when we're going to be drinking. <laughs>
already plotted on the and Howard, days. Howard, Artie smokes, too. This is 2,000 packs of cigarettes. Babe later. Ruth, you can't swim in the bath that fast anymore, fatso. John, John. All right, so John, you're putting up five go. grand. Let's go, Mr. Jogger. This you can't hit that, buddy. I jug like a little fruit. <laughs> like let's, go. let's go play strike box. Let's play strike, strike box. box. Yeah, let's play. Get, get, we'll pay like him. Marble. In box. Vegas, let's play. Uh, yeah, I'll let's play him too. He just wants to play all the time. <laughs> yeah, suddenly, the guy, oh, God, uh, he gets me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's heavy when he walks to, to, to hail a cab. He's going to swing this out. Stuttering, disgusting, <laughs> maliferous, <laughs> mongrel. Howard, who are you betting on, honestly? I got to first see which see chick it is. No, no, but, 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 but yes. see the chick. Do you anticipate that we could find a girl that... You were all saying night? I was going to lose 15 nothing in this broad. Did you have the same exact conversation at the same time last yeah, night? Yeah, but we didn't, <laughs> you didn't play a WNBA player. I mean, you, you played a bench warmer. Oh, I did not. Yes, Penn you State did. But she was the on the bench. She said Look, that. look, look, look. She wasn't even a shooter. Here, I, wait a second, John. She wasn't even a shooter when he played. She played John, John you're insane. He didn't play defense at all. Let me tell you something. Yeah. This is going to be it. This is going to be the big one. Insane? This is going to be the big one. Now listen to me. Yeah. We are going to find the best female pitcher that we can find. But, but, and then who we'll throws? Make their bets. Who throws overhand? And it's wait, she's got to throw a hard ball overhand. She's got to throw from sixty feet away. That's right. right. It's going to be yeah, sure. very hard to find. Sure. Oh, I don't think it's because yeah. even, even if there's a woman, there's got to be girls yeah, who play see somewhere. Side, there's, there's a billion sites. Time. You're gonna have fall, a hard time finding a chick who could throw a ball sixty feet. That's even right. Let's get Roger man. Clemens' sister, Regina. Show Regina me. Clemens. Regina Clemens. We can put Roger in a dress. She's gonna bean me. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden. Hello, I'm Regina. I'm Regina Clemens. She's gonna give me a little chin music, that bro. Uh, uh, even right. if you find a woman's league, it's gotta be the cold bass in baseball. Immensely, shush. I would doubt immensely that they pitch from sixty, 60 feet, feet away. out. Yeah. Hey. Oh, the little girls can't do uh, yeah. Oh, they can't do sixty feet against the fat That's alcoholic. The Let's see if we can find it. No, there's been there's been women in the minor leagues, yeah. on the minor league teams. Well, as yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. As, as a promotional stunt, they let a midget play once. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I'm crazy. Frank, Bling, what is it? Bling. Frank, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, I've. There's a girl named Isla Borders that played for the St. Paul Saints, the same team that Michael Jordan played for. Yeah, he was, she was good. The first, she was the first female pitcher in the minor leagues, and she and the was last. easy to find. Well, how long ago her. was that, though? We need somebody who can pitch now. Dude, she's, a, oh, yeah. she's drunk in some <laughs> bar in Illinois right now. <laughs> hey, hey, let me just clarify. She is not drunk in a bar. Right. No, B, we're kidding. We're if kidding. we can find her, we will. Look at this guy. And we'll pay her. What? Hey, John, let's play. Let's go play strike box. I can't hear you, uh, Tom. I, I, John is loud. We'll, we will pay her. You know, we'll we'll put up money for her. We'll bring right. her in. We'll do the whole deal. It's going to be big. I'm not even getting paid. Howard, Tom already got the contest. Sponsored. You get the glory. It's, it's already sponsored. It's already been sponsored because yeah. it doesn't involve anyone getting naked. Exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, Tom's one. all over this. This I like. This is wholesome baseball. Finally, I like something I can get sponsored behind. by Pajama Graham. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let some hey, Howard. Yeah, yeah. She was she was in Sports Illustrated. She was on Letterman. Yeah, she wouldn't go. be that hard to find. That's what we need. We will find her. What's her name? Uh, Isla Borders. I L A and then Borders. Last name Borders. Well, I want to know if she's still uh, working out there. Yeah, did she pitch? I, I, I sure she is. John just. I think she could strike out Artie. Oh, she struck me left. out. Yeah. <laughs> Who she are struck you? you out. If she's a lefty, I'm I'm all over. Lefty. Oh. Yeah, that's, you eat lefties for life. Howard, does, haven't already learned. Let I mean, me tell you something. You find you the, lost to like find the worst. The worst on a team. Find the worst <laughs> left hand. I'll go I mean, one further. How further. long does it take you? You find you the lost worst lost in Shut up. Wait, hold on. You lost in Rackapole. Howard, how, you forget the whole. John, Wait, he's going to prove it. How, What's the argument? Say, let me just say one thing. You, I bet him on a racquetball game. He thought he, that he could beat this guy in racquetball. I didn't he, think that. Yeah, he thought he could score five points off the guy. He didn't score five points. John, it's racquetball. It's a fruit game. It's he's saying baseball he's good at. And he lost in basketball. What other All game right. do you All right, we're going to take a break. Jimmy yeah. Florentine is here from Crank Anchors wow. Tuesday nights at 1030 on John, Comedy 40 Central. 40 nothing. 40 nothing, me and you, in stickball. Please. He's got an injury, Artie. Leave him alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Rotator cut. I was just looking up some information on the Isle of Borders, who looks like the first chick to ever play in the minor leagues. Yeah. She said her fastball is about 75 to 80. That's hit what she was it. pitching at her peak. I'll, I'll hit so it a mile. Peak you can hit it 80 miles per hour fastball. I'll turn it into a guided missile, John. <laughs> a guided <laughs> missile. And let me tell you something else. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it into a guided missile. An F-1 bomber stealth.
We'll wow. go to the batting cages right now. Take me into the fast pitch. The 85 miles dude, an there's hour. there's no curveballs in a batting cage, Art. Dude, all right. Man. I mean, there's no sinkers. So did I lean on your travel team yeah. to have a good curveball? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I lean. I lean. We watched your skirt. What a chauvinist, Art. I'm a chauvinist. Hey, dude. So, you put, so Art, are you taking his $5,000 side bet? No matter what game we come I'll up with? I'll bet him 5Gs, yeah. All right. Wow. All right. You're on. All right. I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, like he's got that look on his face, like when I was up fourteen nine, and oh, if there was a shot of John, he owed me five hundred bucks. He had eight dollars on him. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. He's like on the side, goes, "Oh yeah, good." You're for taking you. a five thousand dollar bet. You better think it's you, you got you that kind of money. Get the money together. First of all, I'm not going to lose any money on this one. Who is this? Uh -huh. I have a party. You I need try to, to do find the anybody but Sal. <laughs> it seems like everyone but Sal is coming. <laughs> You're going to invite Richard, right? <laughs> I was leaning toward inviting yes. Richard. I still haven't made my final decision, but... So the whole gang will be um, there, but Sal. That's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. You know what? I have a question. Yeah, Fred. Yeah. Had, if Stuttering John were still on the show, would you have invited him? No. At the, I don't know if he I was mean, still on the show. If he was still on the show, sure, he yeah. would have been invited. Okay, so, so Richard should get an invite because he took John's job. That's true. He that's should right. get John's invite. That's right. <laughs> what if Sal is Richard's date? No, 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 no Richard no. can't bring a date either. By the way, <laughs> you can now count me as one of the people who's seen Stuttering John's estate. Oh, is it something oh. else? I you was, were over there? I was in L.A., and John was nice enough to invite me over for dinner. And forget the house. The house is beautiful. The stunning thing about it is the backyard. Really? He has a view... Uh, 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 let me let me tell you my view. <laughs> the only word is breathtaking. He has a view of like the Grand Canyon. And how wow. much uh, how, how much money does he have that he could invest in this house? Um, I mean, is this something that only a multi-millionaire? He bought that house before he left. He claims no, he made money. He house. got a new house. It's a new house. Oh, he claims he made house. some money on a real estate deal when he first went out there. He rolled over a house and got this one, but. I mean, I don't know exact figures, but it's got to be a few million bucks to wow. say. I mean, it's it's got a beautiful built-in pool, but that's not even a quarter of the backyard. To me, the, the, my sister happened to be out in L.A. on business, and he was nice enough to invite her as well. And on the way home, we were both saying... The backyard is really the killer part of the yeah. house because the master bedroom goes out into a little balcony that overlooks the backyard and these gorgeous, breathtaking L.A. mountains. Wow! Wow! It's just and it's all sacred ground. The mountains, so, so they can't build can there. Yeah, so it'll never be uh, ruined. Uh, they, 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 I could just hear John. Now. Yeah. They, 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 never, they never could build here. Right. Never. Right. It so, really is. It's gorgeous. It's it's gorgeous. They're never, they, they're never going to be allowed to build here. <laughs> see, see that spot over there? That's where the hillside strangle and dump this last body. Oh, and, never, uh, never, and Suzanne and the kids are, are very happy there. And you know, how right. it's a kind of view. Like I saw it at night. I was there at night. <laughs> it's a kind of view when they do a movie and they show the Hollywood Hills. This is the view. That's the like it's, it's shot from John's backyard. I wow. say something's got to be wrong. Either he's in a bad school district no. or something. Oh, there's got to be something Dude, bad there. Can I just tell you? There's got to be something bad. Goes, I don't know. It just seems, it just seems <laughs> weird. There's nothing wrong. Like, uh, like when I went up there, he goes, um, that's uh, where Michelle Branch lives. You know, like, uh, he's in the I he's still in say, the I still say he'll screw up. Oh, yeah. Uh, he'll screw dear. up. He might, he but I'm telling you, well he's going to be no, he's going to be destined for, for oh, yeah. some kind of screw up. <laughs> Put it this way, like, like he'll get divorced. Can I tell you something? Like, like the house was gone. Oh, he'll this lose house, the house to something. Divorce. Yeah, this I, house right here. He was living like a mile away. So this was like a huge upgrade. Right. It's it's still like the same quality house, but it's a wow. it's a better piece of wow. property. So I guess asking Liz Smith if she's a cow is worthwhile sure. in life because. Yeah. Uh, oh, Artie, what'd you think of the house? house? I thought it was gorgeous. That the house is beautiful, but again, the, the, if the house is an eighth, the backyard's an eleven. Right. Like wow. the backyard right. is really what makes it for me. And put it, okay. So I was driving out there with my sister, and my sister goes. We're not going to the house empty-handed. I'm like, Stace, it's John. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, the irony of like me thinking I'm going there. And she goes, no, we have to stop. It's embarrassing. So we stop at a little strip mall next to his house. Your sister went with you? She happened to be in L.A. On, she's in L.A. on business Where was uh, Dana? Uh, Dana couldn't make it. She was working. My sister was out there on business. I'm not hearing a lot of Dana conversation Ooh. lately. Well, me and Dana are still fine. Are you, yeah. are you fine? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you I see her at all over the vacation? Yes, of course I did. Sure. I wanted, to, I wanted her to come, desperately to come to L.A., but she couldn't make it. Did you make love? 
Yes, we did. Oh, never mind that. Did you fuck her? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? Uh, Dana couldn't go to L.A. She was with her boyfriend. Oh, well, then, you know, you can that understand hurts. that. That hurts. No, I'm, I'm serious. Are you guys together? I really want to know. Yeah, we're together. Because people ask me every minute, are Artie and well, Dana well, together? Well, you know, the big thing is to see if she makes it to the party. Oh. oh it's Artie plus one. <laughs> It may be Artie plus someone from Scores. Ah. Will Artie and Dana show up at Robin's party? Yes, Dana loves Robin and wants to. Go. Not Robin. I'm worried about it. She loves you. <laughs> yeah, we don't want Dana to go because she's coming because she loves me, or right. she's coming because she loves Dana. Loves I'm, sending, Robin. I'm sending Dana with somebody else. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we're together. Up. You can tell them we're together. Sure, okay, all right, absolutely. Okay, all right, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. George Flowers wants to know. He's got a newscast coming up. Everything's great. Right. Daily update. Uh, and in the news today, Dana is still with Artie. <laughs> Just dropping ah. shit like that. I'm so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, and the way we stop by, like, a strip mall outside of John's house, right. and it's all just, like, these insane, you know, like, Gucci, you know, like, oh, high-level right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifth Avenue-type stores. Yeah. It's like a nice... Like Rodeo Drive. Yeah, it's like a beautiful mall. area, right? I mean, it's like a gorgeous Unbelievable. area. Yeah. Unbelievable. There's a, place, there's a place like that in Miami. It's called the... Um, uh, the... Bell Harbor? Bell Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. They got every, yeah. like, major designer. Oh, I was, love that place. I was walking through there, and uh, Beth and I stopped at a jewelry store, and this guy walks in, like, you could tell, he was just like a real dirt bag, and, like, he, he didn't look like he could afford a goddamn thing in there anyway, so, but neither did I, quite frankly. But uh, he walks in, and he goes, uh, he sees that it's me and Beth. He followed us, and he was definitely a fan, and he goes, uh, yeah, you guys got anything in here for like a thirteen-year-old girl? Oh. <laughs> like, and like wow, that's just me. That's Who's buying for a thirteen-year-old girl he, in this he store? He just wants to be told no so he can yeah. leave and not look, look like an idiot. Beth was looking at a pair of earrings. And he went. He was and he stood back. He was just checking out what we were up to. Right. So Beth goes, uh, I don't want anything, and we and we left. And then she said to me afterwards, I wanted it, but that guy was definitely going to report it, you know. Uh. So I said, Yeah, let's go back. We'll go get some earrings and stuff. But uh, it, man, one story after another. It's like, I don't even know how these stores support themselves. You got I mean, you talk about every item there. It's like 10 grand. Yeah, but all you have to do is sell one item a day. That's I guess. I wonder. If they sell an item a week, is that right. okay? No, I know what you're saying. Because there's a place in my neighborhood that's becoming like, they, they're trying to call it the Rodeo Drive of the East Coast. Right. And all of the local stores are going out. It's all being filled with, you know, Tiffany and all these high-end places. Yeah. I don't understand how, you, you know, the rents are crazy. I was going to buy Beth something expensive, but then I had visions of the Howard 100 News team calling the jewelry store <laughs> and finding out how much I paid. Well, I, I bought Dana a necklace at Tiffany, and first of all, when you say you're going to make the sale, the, the, the salesperson's eyes, whoa, light up. And then, you know, it's enough money where you get paperwork. Where you, like, yeah. see, you know up. why? Because everyone who comes in there, like, looks and doesn't buy, when they finally get some sucker to pay that yeah. price. And I like, feel like a sucker. Yeah, oh, you are. Because I'm I mean, paying for that Tiffany pay, box. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. The piece of jewelry is worth half. That's right. Ugh. You know what I mean? So wait a second, what'd you buy John? No, just like something for the house. Like we went, know. we bought him. Uh, he, just, <laughs> he just had, uh, you know, the baby, so uh, we we brought um, like cupcakes and stuff, and but then a couple of nice bottles of like a couple of bottles of Dom. Like, so I don't know. Is it when you got over there? Is John? You know, get the baby and everything. He's helping out, right? Oh, please. There's a full nanny. There's a full nanny say, apartment. Help is there? Oh, there's a nanny? <laughs> there's a nanny, a living nanny that has, like, an apartment, a bathroom. Oh, or, wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I figured he'd go the whole help route and everything. Well, is, is, she, is she uh, Mexican? Or? I didn't meet her. I didn't meet her. You didn't meet the nanny? No, I did not meet the nanny. Because I was going to give him an Asian boy to uh, actually <laughs> clean the house. I took a leak in the nanny's <laughs> that's bathroom. That's what you were getting him? <laughs> that's right. That's what I was going to bring over to his house. Here's yeah, so I, I'm confirming Gary's story about the house. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, Howard, one of the top neighborhoods, not to, t not to tell you what it is, but it's one of the top, because I checked around even before John moved So were you there. jealous? It sounds like you guys you are You know what? I actually jealous. wasn't. No, I wasn't yeah. jealous. I was sort of like psyched for him. Were you? That's yeah. Not, you're I, a good guy. You know what? I, I'm jealous of John in other areas. Like you're what? In, just the fact that he gets this job where he has to go in for two hours a day and make a fortune. <laughs> but I think the house is beautiful, and I think it's great that he's got it. Right. I really do. Right. I mean, you're happy for him. Yeah. Yeah. Artie, were you happy for him, or are you just very, like, hey, fuck yeah. this guy? You know, who's no. working two hours a day. No, I, I like John. I'm very like happy John. for him. Fred, sure. are you upset I'm, about John? No, yeah. I'm glad he's out west. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ever want to see him again. I have no feelings for John at this point in time. Right. None. None. Zero. I, wish him, I wish him the best. And uh, it looks like. Do he's you doing wish him right. the best? Not Maybe. really. Why not? You don't like him. Well, I didn't like him when he was here, but right. now, no, absence <laughs> makes the heart grow fonder. There you go. Who this? Uh -huh.
Where is, you know, where is uh, the tape, the tape from Jay Leno? I mean, I love your music, but I'd much rather hear the Jay Leno tape. Yeah, uh, Scotty's just leadering up right now. Leadering. Uh, his head's going to explode at this point. Yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time. Howard's a much bigger fan of your interviews. <laughs> yeah, no offense. I mean, you know, it's not a put down. You know what's strange? There wasn't that many people at the press conference. Of course not. How, How can you have... Why would they have a press conference? I said, I said, why would they have a Jay Leno press conference? The guy has already been interviewed nine billion times. He's available to everyone Is and anyone. Is there anyone left who doesn't know he's in New York? Jeez. What, what, what question could you possibly ask him? We're all Jay Leno to death. We know, we know, we know. Learn from Johnny Carson. He was never available for an interview. The biggest th the question, uh, the biggest uh, interview was with, was, 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 was me and the black guys from Kiss FM, you know? Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, we were back and forth. Nobody even there. <laughs> Goodness, how many people were there? Maybe about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, maybe really? 20 to 30 press people. It's not a lot of people. It's just very impromptu, you know? Yeah. What do you mean impromptu? I don't ask. <laughs> well, doesn't that mean he was just like Jay was just like hanging out with everybody? No, impromptu around. would mean they called it at the last minute. Well, well, yeah, well, I think they did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So you mean it was informal? Informal, right? Very there informal, you go. right? Uh, where'd you go, George? <laughs> oh, this is all the Jay Leno stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We wrote a bunch of questions. Jackie and Fred were Jay Leno crazy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. They had a lot of questions. Yeah, everybody had questions. I got everyone. You got everyone. I, I was wearing my I was wearing my Nightline news hat, so I, he, I, don't, I don't think he knew who I was at first. All I know is all the newspapers are writing articles today about the Jay Leno press conference and talking about it, and all the questions they don't attribute them to you, but I could see they wrote up all our questions. Yeah, they did that the last time too. I don't know why they did so that. So you never get any credit. No, because even no. Because even on M MTV at the Rolling Stones thing, remember the David Bowie question? Right. They didn't say. No, they either. don't credit us. And they all act like like John and this show. We're not credible journalists, but That's they all right, use they our questions. They always want to throw John out. And if it wasn't for us being at these press conferences, they wouldn't have one interesting question to ask these fossils. It, it has become a trend that John winds up writing the articles. Well, look at Eric Mink's column. the majority column. of people in town who do newspaper. I don't know if Eric is one of those guys who hates us or likes us. I don't remember. I can't even keep track of these journalists anymore. But I'm reading his column today. So he's a, it's not Eric Mink. I'm sorry. It's Richard Huff. Tonight Show host Jay Leno seems to be taking well late night legend Johnny Carson's appearance last Friday on CBS Late Show. Uh, yesterday, Leno told reporters that Carson and Late Show host David Letterman had a relationship that predated his own arrival on the late night scene and that he doesn't think Carson hates him. First question we wrote is, why does Johnny Carson hate you? Uh huh. <laughs> so they, they, that's where that answer uh, came of from. Course. And then you go through the rest of the article and everything he answered was questions we asked. But no one attributes it to us, but they, you know, they just use it, and then they talk about how sucky we are, <laughs> and how we shouldn't be allowed at press conferences. You know what I think happens? They get repulsed while it's happening. Yeah. And then they go back and listen to the tape, and they realize those are the only interesting answers. Yeah, because we ask questions that are real. Yeah. I mean, that everyone else is afraid to ask. Right? It's just repulsive yeah. to watch. Right. <laughs> repulsive to watch the process, <laughs> but nevertheless... Yeah. Wow, well, certainly a slow news day, huh? <laughs> well, nice to have you all here. Uh, where do I start? Do I take questions or something? Or, I don't... <laughs> do you have an opening statement, Jay? <laughs> you have to know. Like, why don't you prepare a little? <laughs> you knew you were coming out. You knew you were going to do that. I'm in a press conference. Hey, what is this? Why, why is this? All, why are you guys here with microphones and stuff? What's going on? <laughs> the man of yeah. ten thousand monologues. Doesn't yeah. Have a joke what am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, how do we stop? Well, why would you call us here? <laughs> you obviously must have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold the press conference unless you have something to announce. <laughs> Jay still doesn't get show business. What's the matter there, Jay? Hey, what a surprise. Lost <laughs> <laughs> Lauren seven years ago. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking. Uh, is this on? <laughs> By the way, the, the real, the real Jay shadow. the real Jay is actually calling us at 8 o'clock. Oh, good. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jay, why does Johnny Carson hate you? Why, Johnny Carson hate me? I think well, that's called a severe diphthong is what you have, sir. No, I, I don't have any problem with Johnny. Johnny's fine. I don't, I... <laughs> Here we go. Johnny's fine. Of course you have a problem with Johnny. I don't have a problem with Johnny. Not... Johnny just burned your ass. The question was, why does Johnny Carson hate you? <laughs> not why he hates him. Yeah. 
Maybe because Johnny's such an insecure peckerhead that he can't deal with the fact that you're doing his Tonight Show and anyone who would have taken it over, Johnny has a little problem with. Do you realize it's become like the late show wars? Yeah. Jay Leno had Jack Parr on last night. Right. He got to hug so Jack Parr. he got, Parr. you know, like the original Tonight Show guys <laughs> to come on his show. This Letterman got Carson and he's lying and saying he doesn't have a problem. I hear they're both over at Steve Allen's house now banging on the door. <laughs> They play into. I don't know. They play into each other. Yeah. Hi, I got Jack Parr. So Jack Parr gets on the show and he uh, says to Leno that the chair, the seat where the guest sits, yeah. this is a seat of honor. This seat has been held by, and he starts reeling off these old names nobody's Who, Jack ever Parr? Yes. Yeah. You know, people he interviewed, you know. Toady Fields and so on. Toady so Fields. <laughs> Toady Fields had her leg amputated in this Bee chair. Be Lily. <laughs> Be Lily. <laughs> Beatrice Lily was in this chair. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Why don't you just put them all in there? <laughs> Vito Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, this chair is the chair of honor. Don't ever have Madonna sit in this chair. Get off the stage, you old man. <laughs> Everyone in the world would die to have Madonna in that chair. Yeah, Jay Leno's going to turn her down. Yeah, Jay doesn't want an eight rating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone might watch. Don't ever have her in the chair. <laughs> you old fossil Jack Parr. Biggest imbecile on the planet. <laughs> These guys are nobody. They, they tap him to do the Tonight Show. He does it for like, I don't know how long, a couple of years. And he, and he can't take the pressure. He, 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 he sits cracks. The, he cracks. And now he's sitting... He's sitting in Connecticut uh, talking about old old Tonight shows. Waiting for them to come get him. The Pete Best of TV. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Parr, sitting waiting for someone to ask his opinion on something. Yeah, like, who cares, Jack, you loser? It's the 90s. Yeah. And you know what? I'm sure after he resigned and he saw Johnny handle it after a year, he went, what the hell was I doing? Yeah. Why did I do that? My, uh, honey, come here and yeah, like, like, why? Like, what was so difficult? I had to interview people. Give me my old tapes. i got to see what was wrong. Yeah, but why, why was I having so much strain and pressure? Why was I so volatile? People love me. I've walked out. Let's listen to Jay meander through this answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank Johnny. I don't think Johnny hates me. I, uh... Johnny and I have a pretty good relationship. He's always been very gracious, nothing but been considering all... Yeah, real gracious. Hasn't shown up once. Hasn't said a nice word about you. answered your call. Yeah, and now it goes on Letterman. The whole press conference is how he was. Like, yeah. very... It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Everything's nice. Everything's fine. Meanwhile, he's sitting with a two rating. Nonsense that went down and the stuff that went on. I think he's just been terrific. So, no, I have no problem with him. Fine with me. I like Johnny a lot. How much will you dance at Johnny Carson's funeral? <laughs> 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 I, I don't dance. So Jay doesn't realize it's even you. No, not no. yet. No. How much will you dance? Oh, <laughs> Who else would ask these questions? How could he not know? Hey, yeah. Why would he insult us? <laughs> Listen, I'll continue this. I got to take a short break. Okay. We got a bunch more questions right after this. We have to have Gorilla's mother do an ice draft commercial for us one day. Yeah, we'll call her next time we do one because she's a big ice draft drinker. Yeah. I uh, I cannot believe the amount of, while we were in commercial break, uh, Robin commented on it, too. I cannot believe the amount of Jay Leno commercials they're running. For the Tonight Show coming to New York, I mean, Jesus Christ. How much more publicity does he need? <laughs> See, that's what I'm trying to say. is like you can't ram it down people's throats. I'm doing the show, and I'll tell you something. A lot of people uh, have patted me on the back and said it was very admirable. Even though they'd rather see me on Letterman, uh -huh. they said, hey, wait a second. You know, it's a really funny thing. Because um, I was talking to uh, Fran Shea from the E! Network yesterday. She was up here. And she was sitting next to Morty, who's the producer of The Letterman Show. She was sitting next to him on the plane. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she just happened to sit next to him. And I know Morty was, like, upset that I'm doing The Leno Show. You know, they don't understand it. Like, how come, you know, Leno's doing so bad? Why are you doing that show? And, and uh, I'll tell you something. You can't, you know, I'm sitting there. I'm a guy. I don't call either of these shows. I don't, I never have once picked up the phone and said, hey, can I be on your show? I don't ask. Mm -hmm. it's, it, to me, it would be embarrassing. I figure if a guy wants me on a show, he's going to ask me to be on. And Letterman has his agenda. Leno has his agenda. But uh, they call and ask me. Now, the way uh, Leno does it is he called me four months in advance and said, this is the date we need you. Four months in advance. We're coming to New York. Can we please have you? I kept saying no, and finally I said yes. Letterman don't even call. He don't tell you when he wants to have you on. Suddenly he calls uh, a week before. He called me last week. A week before, he wants me on the same week that Jay wants me on. And, I, you know, 
It's weird. I, I, I said, well, I already... Did Morty say anything to Fran that... Oh, well, you know, he keeps saying, well, how come he's... Uh... And, and in fact, Fran even said to him, and this is something I said, I'll go on your show the next week if that's... You know, I like both of you guys. Oh, we can't have that. You can't go. You just did a Leno. <laughs> and it was just like, well, yeah, like but some rules. I'm on radio five days a week. If I went by your theory, I should only be on once every three months. <laughs> people, Letterman's uh, there every night. Yeah, Letterman's there. I, people don't seem to get sick of me uh, coming out. It's not, it doesn't ruin the specialness of it. I said, but, but if you want, I'll wait a month and ask me. To, tell me tomorrow what days you want me on, and I'll come. You got to tell people you want them. You can't just call them three days, but and then I'm supposed to call back Leno and say I can't do it. What am I supposed to say? I, I agreed to do it. The guy booked a show around it. I know when people call me up and book a show and then they cancel, I get really pissed. We've gone to war with people over there. Yeah, I mean, that's not right. So, uh, you know, some people have said to me, hey, I'd rather see you on Letterman. I'd rather see you on this show. I'd rather see you. I just got to do the right thing. If I commit to a guy, you do it. But this, this Letterman, they have a, a thing where they don't tell you when they want you. They always call me three days whenever a guest drops out. Which I don't mind. I'm happy to do it. But if a guy calls me for four months and says he wants me on his show... You can't just bag him. Yeah. I mean, I said yes already. But boy, they're running a lot of Jay commercials. Can they be making any sh money on that show? The Tonight Show? <laughs> Where is that commercial? And Jay is screaming, screaming. I'm here and in I, New York. You know, oh, I hadn't York. noticed that party statement before. Yeah. You know, you pointed that out yesterday. It's going to yeah. be an all-something party. It's going to be a party. All out party. Big party, New York. Hello. Sorry, it's me and not Dave. <laughs> Hello, New York. And then he starts talking about how we've saved up a lot of guests that yeah. you never get to see. And, and now we're going to have them on. Oh, you want to hear a funny thing about that commercial? So any WFM, which is uh, considered our competition here in New York, <laughs> uh, the rock and roll, it's the other rock and roll state. They consider themselves competition. Yeah. They're down to a one ready. So they're running that commercial, <laughs> but they cut out my name. Of course. You don't hear the name Howard. If you notice, Jay says, hey, Howard Stern. They cut out my name. Like like someone's going to, like, oh, that'll hurt me. <laughs> I mean, what, what, are they still serious with my you name know, cut out? But maybe they think of themselves that one share, that yeah. one rating might disappear, too, if yeah. people hear your name. By cutting out my name, that'll really help them. <laughs> you know, like, like that's going to be the thing that'll help them. Wouldn't the client be mad at them? Uh, Well, yeah, but they could yeah, certainly understand. Good. Yeah, but they could certainly understand. I mean, but at the same point, I mean, NEW ought to run my name, and maybe that someone would tune in. Yeah. You get confused. <laughs> you get confused. <laughs> the effort they spend editing, they should spend on programming. Don't be the micromanager. Yeah, right. You're like, get Stern's name off the air. Take that out now. Yeah. I, I heard know. his name. I'm sitting here. I'm the number one disc jockey in the country. Everyone who listens to that station knows who I am, what station I'm on. They're going to cut out my name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get him out <laughs> get of Get him off. Hey, that helped. <laughs> well, the one just went to a one. We're not. He doesn't need us. The one rating just went to a 1.1. 1 .1. Do you think they really could have afforded not to take that commercial if it had to have your name stay in it? Yeah. I think if the client had just put some pressure on them, they would have left the name oh, absolutely. in. absolutely. Hey, we'll pull the spot. They can't turn down any money. All right, all right, we'll take it. <laughs> all right. All right, we'll mention Stern. Okay, you're twisting our arm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Stuttering John was at the uh, Jay Leno press conference. We're in the middle of it in case you're just tuning in. It's pretty funny. So, John, you say there weren't a lot of people there. No, wasn't a lot of people. wasn't a lot of big, like, you know, there wasn't any TV there at all. <laughs> Give me that Jay Leno commercial. i got to hear it again. Give it to me. Thanks. He's all hyped, yeah. hyped up there. I never heard Jay so excited. He's like the new Arsenio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, city dwellers. Jay Leno here. You know what I love about New York City? Yeah, I got the best of everything. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I got to tell you. Yeah, they get great bagels, and yeah, they have exit wounds, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great food, theater, sports team. Hey, you can hey. even drink the tap water. Look, this. You think someone pulled him into the studio and said, could you be a little happier and peppier? Yeah, just do it. Up, up. Because yeah. I can hear a lot of edits in here, too. He did each of these things individually. Yeah. Well, Jay is calling in. We have to ask him how many <laughs> takes he did on that. <laughs> how many takes. Because you can hear, uh, he starts on one level with the first line, and then all of a sudden he's up here. Yeah, he's all excited. You can even drink the tap water. Where's my wallet? <laughs> Stop in it! New York, it's like Burbank on steroids. You know, we're sitting back here in Burbank, California, trying to figure out some stuff to do. We figured, hey, let's go east. Let's go back to our ancestral home, 30 Rockefeller Center, NBC Studios, New York. 
Actually, someone told me that Jay announced first that he was coming to New York, and then that's, Letterman said yeah. he was going to L.A. Yeah, that's what I think happened. But that's Jay's problem. He always announces stuff too early. And what happened was, everyone assumed now that he's ripping off Letterman. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a classic blunder. Letterman just went the week of, before him. I mean, they have been saying for months now that they're going to be coming to New York, and then all of a sudden Letterman was in Los Angeles. <laughs> we got to go somewhere. <laughs> well, let's we're not going announce to Cleveland, it. Man. Yeah. What? I said we're going to Cleveland. Well, speaking of Cleveland, we'll be talking to Doug Podell, the program director. He's having a fit. Why? I don't know. Well, for, he's it's June. He, I, I wait till I, I'll tell you all that later. I don't want to change the topic yet. Okay. I want to stick on this Jay Leno press conference. But, but you're going to love this. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, let's go back to the press conference. Oh, you don't want to hear the rest of the commercial? Oh, okay. I... Let's stay on his motorcycle. I am. Oh, I, got, I brought you his press photo. you got to see it. Really? Okay. What, is he in a motorcycle? Yeah, but it's pretty funny. Thumbs Thumbs and what's that all about? Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Sinking ship. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Folks, a huge non-stop party when we bring the Tonight Show back to New York City party. for the first time in over 20 years. And we've been saving up guests for the last 19. Listen to this tremendous amount of guests get to clip here. Howard Stern will be with us, Michael J. Fox, Bill Cosby, Cindy Crawford, Farrah Fawcett, and Hulu Iglesias, the blue man. Oh, well, look at Jay. The <laughs> Jenna's motorcycle. Let me see. <laughs> oh, Jay. Vroom, vroom. vroom. You love those motorcycles, huh? Yeah, I love it. I love motorcycles. I love it here. I love it everywhere. I love Johnny. I love pain. I love kicks in the balls, and I love swallowing tacks. I love everything. <laughs> uh, uh, about on the on the flyer, you are the first name mentioned as Jay's guest. Yes, yeah. yeah, I'm sort of building that around me. I'm not. I'm not mentioning the night I'm on because then. Are you going to tell me? Because I would like to go with yeah, you. Yeah, I will uh, tell you. <laughs> hey, but, let, but Letterman. Uh, He'll, you he'll haven't on, let me know yet. He'll put on Paul Harvey and Rush Limbaugh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> get the president. Yeah, get the president of the United States. He'll get somebody. Go dig up Nixon. Yeah. Because <laughs> Morty was trying to get it out of Fran. What night I'm going to oh, be yeah? on. Oh, yeah? He was like, oh, what night's he going to be on? What night's he going to be on? She should have lied to him. Yeah. Lied to him? I haven't yeah. told Fran. No, but she should have made yeah. something up. She might have picked the right date. Well, she, 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 she kind of slipped out. She mentioned that I'm going to be on Wednesday night. You're not Wednesday night. Yeah. Why yeah. are you saying that? Yeah, yeah that's what they told me. <laughs> In fact, they invited me to go there with you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you mind, you know. Yeah, I mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me hear the rest of your press conference. All right, there. I'm not a very good dancer. But thank you. But good, insightful questions. All right, so far, John has asked Jay two questions at the press conference. Number one question was, how much does Johnny Carson hate you? Why does Johnny Carson hate you? And the second one was, will you dance on Johnny's grave? Yeah. <laughs> and so how far, much will you dance on Johnny's grave? And Jay has spent a whole bunch of time talking about how much he loves everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Christians. And how the hair plug is coming, okay? Good, good. <laughs> any other, any questions? Do you have to, you, did you actually write those down? Of course, man. Go ahead, what else? Why don't you do Karnak and Aunt Blabby to help the ratings? Uh, well, we have some other uh, characters. We'll be doing our, our, our own thing a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this part of the wild party of being in New York? We'll be doing our own thing. Uh, we'll be doing our own characters. What characters are those, Jay? Uh, Mr. Chin Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question, Mr. Motorcycle Guy. If you're doing yes, the motorcycle repairman, if you're doing uh, if you're doing the Tonight Show, just do Aunt Flabby. Yeah, that's all the part of the Tonight Show franchise. You just do Johnny's characters. Aunt Flabby. It should be like that bozo thing. Where you get all the words and everything. Yeah, Aunt Bla yeah like it, uh, clown we, is Aunt Bladby. We spoke to uh, Bozo from Boston yesterday. All you do is buy the Bozo costume and you you rent out all his bits. Yeah, and you get the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Jay, why don't you do Aunt Blabby? Uh, no, I'll do Try my. Uh, no, no, all right. Uh, you knew who was Aunt Blabby. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna do, no, I want to do my stand-up comic character. All right. There you go. My stand-up comic character. I think that would be great if Jay started coming out with that little pencil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for you. Yeah. Whoopee. That's one. Whoopee. That's a finger. Whoopee. Whoopee. Wizard of Whoopee. Amazing Bushkin. Yeah. Yeah. The chicken. The rubber chicken. Yeah, I got a fart. 
<laughs> Anybody want to hear it? No. Yeah. 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 All right. How come all the guys always say yeah and you say no? <laughs> it was, she's in the other room. I, I, <laughs> oh, is that real? No. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, man. And it's, and it's smell like beans? <laughs> I don't smell Oh, man. Aye, aye, aye. Now aye. guess what he ate. No. Uh, I've been eating kidney beans. <laughs> Thank you, methane, nature's room clearer. <laughs> hey, I got an idea for a character. What? I'll do Chinac. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell the future with my chin. <laughs> Elephant head. Hey, let me get through this press Larry, conference. Larry Bud Leno. <laughs> let me get through this. <laughs> Larry Bud Leno. Let me get through this press conference because it's pretty funny. Why are you holding? Oh, I see. To pick up the. Yeah, I think. What's the big freaking deal about doing the show from New York? No! Freaking, hang on, let me check my 60s dictionary. Freaking definition. Uh, well, we haven't been here for a while. Actually, I started in New York. I, I was born here, grew up here for the first nine years of my life. and uh, I, <laughs> He was born everywhere. Yeah. I thought he was from Boston. Yeah, no, I was Boston born in Tulsa. In oh, you were born in Tulsa? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait a minute. No, I was born in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. All right. When we do the show from there. <laughs> <laughs> To work all the clubs here, and uh, it's different. It's exciting. Our, our staff hasn't. Uh, we have a lot of staff members who've never even been. I can't listen to Jay Leno now without thinking of Billy. I'm hearing that. I know. I knew that was there. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, my chin was born in New York, and the rest of me uh, was born in Boston, <laughs> New York. Folks who grew up on the West Coast and work on the program, so they're going crazy, having a good time. We have a different set, which I like. Uh, considering how it goes, I think we'll incorporate some of the things. That's a whole big deal when you move the show. You have a different set. Can I ask you a question? Letterman had a, a pool behind him. What possible difference does it make to the view in the audience that the people that work on the show haven't been to New York right. before? I don't know. Because they keep hyping you know, But that's them. the thing that Jay doesn't get. And I've, I've talked to him about it. I said, you got to understand something. The fact that your staff is excited to come to New York does, does the viewing audience no good. No, it should be the people that are coming to the show haven't seen us out here. We haven't we haven't heard that yet from him. He doesn't pl he's thinking, well, we're all going to have a good time. I mean, all the people yeah, work the on the show. The pages haven't seen the uh, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, the audiences have to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. You learn here and into putting a new set in Los Angeles at some point. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yes. this is a tryout set. Yeah, tryout set. Oh, the when new it set. comes to New York to try out a set. I know as a viewer, when I see a new set, I immediately tune in. What's <laughs> the difference in New York and New York? We're going to do different. Uh, we'll hey, by the way, uh, I'm doing something different for uh, Jay's show when I go on. Well, yeah, what is that? Listen to this. I came up with this last night. Like, uh... Everyone kept coming up to me yesterday saying, what are you going to wear on The Tonight Show? I've become the new share. People want to yes, know what I'm going to wear. People are watching your dress. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, do an uh, outfit change. Yeah? Yeah. In I'm, the middle of the show. In the middle of the show. I will. So you're wearing two outfits. That's right. I'm going to do uh, two outfits. I'm going to have a change after you come back from commercial. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tune in just for that. Yeah. I got to see what you're wearing. Yeah. I'm going to have I'm, have a Bob Mackey dress on. <laughs> uh, Bob Mackey dress we broadcasting mostly in Spanish. Um, thank you, thank you. We're making love to your wife. Has she ever yelled out Letterman's name? Uh, no, I don't believe so, sir. And she certainly hasn't yelled out your name. That's for sure. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah. The question before was, what are you going to do different in New York? Yeah. yeah. And he did not have an answer? What was his answer? He didn't have really much of an answer about anything. It was very... Uh, he said we're going to do the show mostly in Spanish? Yeah. He doesn't listen. No, I listen. No, really. He doesn't no, not you. Oh, Jay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, it's like when the Today Show or the Good Morning America goes to uh, some location. They don't do anything different. Well, then he, you know, might as well admit it. You know, this is a... This is a, a stupid idea. Ploy. <laughs> have you ever heard anyone's name yelled out? I assume in your case... It would have to be an extremely... She got really insulted by that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're making love to Mavis, does she, does she ever yell out the name Dave? He just went to make fun of my genital size. Uh, oh. He's short name. <laughs> would you... Oh, uh, Jay. Well, let me hear that. Oh. Hey, you're, hey, he calls you to a press conference and he insults you? <laughs> yelled out. I assume in your case, it would have to be an extremely short name. <laughs> would you... Oh, uh, Jay. Oh. What is that? Double entendre. Well, yeah, right over my head. Me too. I wouldn't even get that. He was a zinger. <laughs> he was referring to your penis. Well, yeah, he goes. If anyone yelled out your name in bed, it would probably be a short name. Yeah, but what does that mean? Well, I'm not saying. I mean, I don't know. I don't care.
Everyone else got it. He's angry. There's Three. one. <laughs> Zinger. <laughs> you gives it, you gets it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Johnny? You gives it, you gets it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate Johnny Carson with a passion. Spritzo. I always hated him. Spritzo. I can't believe that was Letterman's hero. Mm. That's that all about. Those two guys are like lovers, the way they talk about him in the press. That was Dave's boyhood hero growing up. Hey, where was Dave's dad in this mix? For Johnny to sit in that chair. Oh, my God. Johnny Stephan, yeah. get out, you old bag of bones. Oh, you stupid God. retard. Thank you for get keeping out. it warm. Yeah. <laughs> go, home, go home and cry about how you ignored your kids. Yeah. We'll be right back. Ricky. Oh, oh, Ricky. Jordy. Hey, Harley New Year. Ah, Jordy. Jordy. Don't oh, worry. Cool. My wife, Joanna. 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 Oh, Joanna. Nebraska. <laughs> Kit Morning, Carson. My grandfather. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm going to be an old monkey from Nebraska like them. Oh, Do we have enough time, Freddy? Johnny's oh, turning into a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Simeon. Regressive. Oh, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Letterman throwing peanuts? The evolutionary. If I was Letterman, I would have taken him to Johnny and thrown him out of... I swear, just throw him through that stupid imaginary window and have that sound effect of the glass breaking. The glass breaking. I want my cage cleaned. Oh. <laughs> hey, Johnny, get the F off my show, you old codger. I have a banana. <laughs> Big moron. You stupid ingrate. Johnny, it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Miserable old man. Where's my cigarette box. Whoa. Did I hit my mark? Oh. Oh. Don Rickles took my cigarette box. Yeah. I have to go get it. Rickles broke my cigarette box. <laughs> the Rickles. I shall burn him. We use Tiny Tim up and then we throw him out. Follow me with that camera. I'm going to get Rickles to pay for my box. <laughs> Rickles. Dick Sean is with us tonight. <laughs> One of the funniest men, Jackie Dick Green. Sean. Oh. Yeah. Jonathan Winters. Pete Marbooney. <laughs> Pete Marbooney. Jack Douglas and Rachel. What was that word that he used Puberty. to say? Puberty. 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 And everybody thinks it's poinsettia, but it is poinsettia. <laughs> yeah, correct me again. You anal retentive nitwit. Every year. <laughs> Put the mic on for ladies and gentlemen. Good, well, hey, what Jay, other questions did you write down? Hey, Jay, uh, would you ever have a live execution on The Tonight Show in a desperate attempt to beat Letterman? Uh, <laughs> if you've seen some of the shows, we have had live executions. Yeah, we've had a few that came very, very close. Jay, you must be sick of being interviewed. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no. No, actually, I don't. Surprisingly, I don't. Yes, Ginny. Has he, has he recognized you yet? Yeah, not this point. He has to. I mean, has to. He doesn't sound like yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it, does Because I had my hat, my hair, and tucked my Shirt. Well, they didn't hit on me. I don't want to wind up in the advocate here. There's Leno. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, Jay, why don't you try wearing a Letterman mask for ratings? <laughs> why don't I try wearing a Letterman I don't know if they're available, sir, but I will certainly check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Oh, yeah. You are oh, so nervous. Yeah. Oh, He's it's looking it's at the door now. Oh, oh. 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 Wear a Letterman mask. Oh. <laughs> Jay, uh, <laughs> what brings you to New York, the traffic or the foreigners? The what? What brings you to New York, the traffic or the foreigners? Actually, in the cab, both. <laughs> that was a good one. Yes. Sure. Hi, yeah, Nikki. That's where I was born. I thought he was just born in. Uh, well, it's New Rochelle now. Oh. He's moving around. New York, New Rochelle, and Boston, so far. Where else were you born, Jay? <laughs> Hong Kong, China. <laughs> <laughs> it took a Wait, long time. I was born in Perth, Australia. <laughs> you know what it is? Jay wants to badly make friends with everyone, so he is He's born from everywhere. everywhere. He's from everywhere. <laughs> Vina. <laughs> what do you say? And what is with that reporter giving her name? I'm so and so from New Rochelle. I introduced myself before. Yeah. I mean, so? Well, I am your highness. You're a long way from home, sailor. It's me so tiny. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's very sweet. Well, thanks, thanks. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
right. What do you think Jay has more of, viewers or reporters? Viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Trinity School. Yeah, I went to that school. <laughs> what does he have a, an atlas with him? Your hometown is. Damn, uh, my rabbi was from Trinity School. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were Jewish. Yeah, I'm Jewish. Sure. Sure. Study German there. Yeah. All you uh, Jews, it's a lot of Jews in New York, right? I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want me to be, I will be. <laughs> I went to every school. I'm every religion. I'm male and female. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm black. <laughs> and what's the idea of this guy coming in here and saving my press conference? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. Oh, well, thanks, thanks. Yes, yes, sir, yes, uh, hey, Jay. the New York Times, yes. <laughs> Jay, Bill Carter, New York Times, yes, go ahead. Jay, let's try word association. All right. A letterman. Uh, a friend. Ratings. Uh, pretty good. Carson. Uh, nice guy. Yeah. Uh, New York. Uh, fun city. Helen. Uh, no comment. <laughs> As the reporters get nervous, yeah. nervous laughter. Oh, that's hysterical. Can't believe he's doing word association. Jay's a good guy, man. Jay really is a good guy. <laughs> he is a great he's great putting up with you. He's unbelievable. He really is a good guy. I'm bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sex. Uh, fun city. <laughs> Karnak. Uh, very funny. Stern. Uh, fun city. <laughs> Fart. Uh, Stern. <laughs> Top ten. Uh, very funny. Jay, but you're not upset that, you know, Letterman's going, I mean, that Carson's going on Letterman doesn't bother you? No, you know, Johnny and David had a relationship long before I came along. Uh, they both have a similar background. Dave filled in uh, for his show many times. Um, yeah, so did you. So why is Johnny burning you? Because Johnny's a peckerhead who's, who just, you can't do anything right. Yeah, he could just stay out of it if he, uh... David, kiss me. Yonka. <laughs> <laughs> Yucca, yucca puck, hockey punk, <laughs> hockey punk. Hi yo, hi yo. Is that the end of the press conference? Or? Well, no, he's still answering the oh, question. Right. I don't know if he is. I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> no, I, would I love to have Johnny on the Tonight Show? Sure, I think that would be great. But as, as I said before, in lieu of uh, those of you, I'm sure, all read Bill Carter's book, in lieu of all the things that went down and whatnot, I think Johnny has handled himself as a perfect gentleman. He's a terrific guy. He's always been very nice to me. Uh, and... Uh, no, I don't have any problem with it at all. I mean, everybody everybody has their favorites. I, I think I think Carson generally likes David and probably prefers David. That's fine. I mean, come on. I mean, we all have people we like better than somebody else, and that's fine. And I think he handles it very well, and I think he's very gracious, and he's able to go on, David, and have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you boys have gotten any higher at that one point? <laughs> yeah, Triple, you want to know about Johnny? Johnny is a load. <laughs> I, I, I hope his ninth wife sets him on fire and pees on his ashes. <laughs> Good. Break that load. He's a load. <laughs> That's how you answer. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Ah, the new J. Fun and look good without making it look like, oh, it's a slap in the face to the other guy. I don't have any problem with it all. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty accurate. A little expensive. That's the whole book thing. Is that it? Or That's pretty much it. And I just good. say take care. And then he, when I say take care, he says, hey, say hi to, hi to Howard for me. So right. said some, oh, finally he did. He really. didn't realize who you were. At first, I know he didn't, but at some point. I was really hiding from I guess that book was pretty accurate. That's what Jay said. Yeah, Jay so says it's accurate. He did hide in a closet. Yeah. I think that was the coolest thing you could have done. From all that book. Yeah. Hey, anyway, uh, Stuttering John, uh, good job. Thanks. Good job on your new album, of course, that's out there. Who did this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.